Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for love and wealth. And this is going to cover October, November, and December. So the next three months. And thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. Also, if you guys would like a person read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. Also, my darlings, I do have a second channel if you're interested in or a true fan of uh, mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel. All the information is in the description box below. I also have a link in my community tab. I really, um, today I released a very special reading for you guys, so you may want to check it out. I'm going to be uploading two to three times on that channel, so besides um, loading every other day up on this channel. <laughs> All right, so Leos, we're gonna be talking about love and then wealth, and if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below, and do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's gonna happen with my Leo's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Leo's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Leo's career and finance for the next three months, please. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Leos, let's check this out. So remember, we're going to talk about October 1st, okay? So this will be the October section. This will be October. This is November. And this is December, okay? All right, so with the bottom of the deck, hmm, there's something hidden about the situation that's about to be revealed. Yes, yeah, so you're about to get some answers, some clarity here. It's some kind of cell foundation or some kind of celebration you guys are going to go to. It looks like someone is going to offer something here, okay? We see that they're making a power move here towards love, Ace of Cups energy. So we see for the month of October here, we see that uh, you guys may be focused on money or finance or you have a sense of independence here. I feel like you guys know your worth, okay, with the Nine of Pentacles energy coming out. I feel like you guys have really done a lot or are going to be doing a lot of deep soul searching going on with the Hermit Court energy in the month of October. And then it seems like all of a sudden someone's going to come forward here possibly to travel towards you or they're going to try to uh, come in fast. I feel like the Cherry Card energy, they may come in fast. This may be somebody who's far away from you, okay? But let's keep going here. So let's get more information here, Leo. Okay, so. It, you're deciding to make some kind of adjustments, okay? And we see don't let pride get in the way. So as I said, I feel like you guys know your value. So I feel like you guys know that you have value, okay? And Or you're, you're figuring that out. And I feel like you guys, obviously, we do the soul searching and we see there's some healing going on. And we see that there is the sense of, okay, I need to be flexible here. And you're really enjoying the moment, enjoying uh, the uh, the fact that there are a lot of people that are surrounding you, or a lot of options, or a lot of people that are checking you out. That's what I really feel like also. Uh, and I feel like you guys are aware of that. But I do feel like there is, by the end of the month, someone who's gonna take a risk here. Mm -hmm. uh, they're gonna take a risk. They're gonna try to overcome, and I heard a horn go, like I always go by omens of readings, and I heard uh, a horn. So you may try to stop them, okay? Because uh, they're like, uh, they're coming in fast, I feel like. They're kind of like gonna soar in or travel towards you or fly towards you. Okay, so let's go further here. Yep, you're getting a lot of attention in the month of October, lots of attention. And uh, you still kind of are in that, that, that uh, gloomy thoughts or there's some worry and concerns here about taking a risk, okay? So yeah. There's a lot of people that want you in the month of October, okay? I'll just put it straight out, okay? And obviously, we see making the effort, but then we see that you have a lot of uncertainty because of stuff that you focused in on from the past. Like, you're still kind of looking to the past, and you're kind of like, yeah, uh, I know what's happened here, and um, I don't know if I'm ready as of yet. I just want to just spend some time alone. I want to do some soul searching. I want to figure this out. Now, this could be your person, too. Your person is trying to see where they stand with you, okay? They have uncertainty where they stand with you. They want to make an effort here, and they feel bad. They feel regretful about what's happened, and they're going to take a risk towards you, okay? So I can see that way as well for some of you Leos. Okay, so now let's go into November here. 
So we got the Empress. We got the Lovers. And we got the Nine of Swords. So again, I feel like in November, you guys, you guys know your worth here, okay? There's somebody that's really looking at you like, Leo knows how to dress, you know, they come off really well, you know, it's like they got everything together, they're really attractive, okay, that kind of energy. I keep eyeballing them, but then they keep seeming like they have a lot of people around them. And you uh, are really noticing one particular person here. That's what I feel like. I feel like there's a lot of people that are trying to get your attention, but you're, you're really noticing one particular person. But there seems to be some self-doubt or worry. Okay. We see a new situation. We see an ending and or wanting to take a break for some kind of change. So we have a new person coming in, child card energy. We see money and finance maybe affecting your romantic love life and we see there's a commitment here but you have concerns that maybe something is still hidden about the situation what did i say i saw the moon card energy something's hidden about the situation uh something that you're still not seeing about it okay we see that there is this focus going on and you're trying to bring some things to light about the situation because of all right will this be successful for me right you know it's time to take some kind of action here, but you're trying to be practical about it, okay? And uh, you're trying to stay balanced here in your situation, okay? Because also, you may work with this person with the money card energy, or you're dealing with some, you're dealing with your money, or you're, you're more focused on money in the month of, of November also as well, so you're kind of like, well, can I really fully commit myself to this situation? But you do have somebody new coming in, definitely. I mean, there was a lot of options here by the month of October, but somebody is new is coming in there by the month of November. So let's go further and let's see what's going on for the month of December. Mm -hmm. You've got options, Seven of Cups energy. Okay, nine, Eight of Wands. And then we got the world, okay. So again, you have some choices to make here coming in for the month of December, okay? Uh, there is concerns that something is gonna close, some kind of opportunity is gonna close. So, but let's see what that's about. Mm -hmm. So we see that there is this, you're, you're looking at your options. There are multiple people here because we have the meetings cards like the garden card energy. So there's multiple people here. Okay, so we see that you guys may be getting some kind of advice from somebody about who you should move forward with, with the Eight of Wands energy, okay? And we see Eight of Wands talking about some kind of communication coming in. And Seven of Cups talks about a lot of overanalyzing, what should I do about going out with this situation, or going out with this person, or, or the people that I have here, okay? We see that you're gonna be having a sense of accomplishment or a sense of completion here with the World Card energy. And we see that the Isolation card is here, so people, someone is trying to debate their position about isolation or separation or distance. We see people go out with me and they try to debate their position and they feel like they that you're single and available to pursue or you're maybe you're trying to be single and available to pursue or this person's single and available to pursue and they want to have some kind of accomplishment or completion in the connection. There's a lot of soul searching going on, single and available to pursue, and trying to gain knowledge about what to do. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay, let's go. You're trying to reach some kind of conclusion about the situation. This person's trying to make a bold move. You don't know if you can surrender to what you're seeing here. You feel like there's some kind of stagnation or stuck energy. And this person really wants to just apologize or they want you to forgive them and they're trying to take an action towards you. Okay, so by the month of December, it looks like somebody you've dealt with before may be trying to come back in. Uh, it does look like, you again, you, for the next three months, it looks like there's a lot of people that really want you. But I'm, I'm not sure if you, you're, uh, you're ready to take a risk because you've already dealt with some kind of hurt or pain from the past. So it looks like there's somebody that could be a real good potential here in the month of November. So, you know, Leo, I'm just gonna get you some advice. Because it seems like by December, you're still kind of like, maybe I just need to do a little bit more soul searching. Maybe I need to just be single. Maybe I just need to get more knowledge about what to do. Okay, so can I have some advice for my leaders for the romantic love life? for their highest best good and the best possible outcome for them and what they could do for their romantic life in the next three months. Show me the cards I need to see. 
Show me the cards I need to see. Prosperity lies ahead. Yes, we know that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have to say that you guys um, follow your intuition here. That's what I feel like, okay? And it's Spirit is saying meditate and contemplate here. So the Hermit card is coming out saying that it is a good thing that you are kind of spending some time alone, kind of really debating on what you want to do here. Because you do have a choice. You can either go towards your prosperity or you can just feel like, all right, nothing will come of the situation. But give yourself some time to contemplate about it. Don't rush into anything. Hold on to what you want. Because you know the bigger picture here, Leo. And don't let your emotions run away with you, okay? It's saying that you'll achieve your goal if you follow your intuition and that you make sure there's an equal give and take. And we see that your commitment will be tested. Well, obviously, because you're going to have a lot of options. So your resolve will be tested because you're going to have a lot of options, a lot of people to choose from here. So, all right, let me move this out of the way. And let me make sure I put that deck back onto that deck. Okay. Okay. Let's now move into your career and finance. And Leos, you know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below, okay? So let's move into your career and finance. All right, we got the star card energy. We got the page of pentacles. We got the knight of pentacles. That's for October. This is going to be November. This is going to be December. Okay, star card tells me that you have a very hopeful situation, okay? So there's definitely a positive, hopeful situation. You come in very optimistic here for the month of October. You're getting some good news here with the Page of Pentacles energy. And you know what, you're taking some actions. Uh, you're analyzing these actions you're taking and you're kind of holding yourself back to make sure you're being very strategic about that. Okay, so we see you're receiving something of unexpected value in a letter, message, or document okay, or paperwork. I feel like guys, some of you guys are receiving a little bit extra money that you weren't expecting. And you're gonna be having some kind of meeting, okay, or there's gonna be an interview for some few guys, okay, because we see this represents a small group of people meeting together. So that could be an interview. It could be some kind of small meeting here where you receive something that's of value to you, okay? So going further, Something you did from the past, something you did before, now you're going to benefit from it. You're going to see some good signs here, Leo. And it looks like you're going to be in a sense of enjoyment about this. Okay. Some of you may have gotten some a vacation. Okay, out of this. Okay, it says paradise. Okay, so others of you, it's just like you're, you're feeling in a good place. I feel like that's a good place for you to be. You feel like, all right, I'm seeing signs. This is really good. Okay, so going further. Okay, so in the month of November, you're like, this is exactly what I wanted. It's exactly what I wanted. You're really just focused on work. You're getting some kind of education or you're uh, getting another skill here with the Eight of Pentacles energy or if some of you guys are just, okay, let me do the work. This is exactly what I want, okay? But there seems to be, by the end of the month, some kind of defeated energy coming in, okay? It seems to be around people, mm-hmm, something to do with people, so, something rules in your favor okay it could be something legal with the core card energy or you're just getting things to go in your favor and it's it's fulfilling your desires at the beginning of the month you're going to be doing some kind of travel for some of you guys with the journey card energy in the month of november and you're you're putting the work in or you're going to do some travel to get some education or uh, some kind of knowledge okay so and then we see by the end of the month you're a little bit defeated. You're trying to think, should I stand up and fight or walk away from a situation? Because I want to be happy here. I want to be completely happy here. So by the end of the month, you're kind of like, all right, there's, you know, you're feeling like kind of defeated about everything. And you're kind of like, yeah, but I really want to just be happy. Okay, let's see. Some big changes happen for you guys. There is this proposal that comes in. And we see there's this abundant energy. But I feel like emotionally, you're not you're not completely happy with the situation and you're going to have to stand up for your position here for what you want to be happy about it okay so in the month of december leo you do get happy here okay you get happy yeah you do have a sense of accomplishment a sense of completion and a sense of happiness and you're looking at these new beginnings and you're feeling good about it 
and you're able to overcome any challenges with the Six of Swords energy, okay? You're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. You feel like you're moving forward here. And King of Cups tells me you're in a solid position. And you're feeling like you're in control here, okay? You may be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy too. We see main person, you, okay? And we see healing and recovery in your thoughts and planning. Going further, things are coming into balance for you when it comes to work and effort. And you're feeling like things are coming together. This is like the Ten of Pentacles, so it shows me that you have some long-term planning going on here. You're making wise decisions and you're looking at the long-term because this is like the Ten of Pentacles energy, okay? When it comes to money, finance, and long-term. You may even feel like the people around you are like family. You know, it's like a comfortable thing here going on, okay? And let me get some advice for you guys. Okay, can I have some advice for my Leos? Career and finance for the most positive outcome for them. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. It's definitely saying prosperity lies ahead for you guys. It's interesting, it's mirroring your romantic love life, okay? Don't let negativity get to you, okay? And don't let the past hold you back. That you're able to see the bigger picture, that you have luck on your side, because that's Sagittarius. And that, just follow your heart. And that makes sense because the King of Cups is right there, okay? All right, my beautiful Leos, I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys in another day or two. I hope you guys have a great rest of your next couple days and I will see you guys soon. And also there's multiple readings you guys will go check out right now, right? We got the monthlies, weeklies, which are day to day in the overall. You got the next two weeks, their true feelings, okay? Their true intentions. There's multiple readings, guys. I even think secrets are up or maybe secrets, or maybe I'm about to do secrets actually for this uh, month coming up for October. So stay tuned for that. And also, if you guys are a fan of the uh, Unsolved True Crime or Mysteries, you may want to check out my second channel, JWZ Mysteries. All the information is in the description box below. I just released a video up today, and it's still a baby channel, so I have about four videos on there so far. But I will we'll be uploading, I'm going to try to upload Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So two to, or two to three times uh, around those days, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.